Yeah. Do you know the last time I see Greens? Glass edge, you know the last memory I got you? My, my last Passed memory of Greens. On the bed. On the bed, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see you again. I was like, oh, oh, oh. But he was yeah. like, it's gone on the bed like that. Bro. Yeah. I was like, is this really Greens right now, bro? Yeah. Bad, bro. I felt so bad because nah. I walked in, Greens I saw okay. the bed, I was like, oh, I'm using later. It wasn't even your bed, I, dude. I, I, <laughs> fuck it. I was bad because I woke up the next in the morning and uh, what's her name? P was on the floor and I was so Oh my god, I'm so oh, peace like the blow. Yeah. No. Oh, we didn't even know that. We didn't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a wicked man. You're wicked. It's rolling, though. Is it bad? It's rolling and yeah, doling and doling. Rolling, rolling and doling. Yeah. Well, I mean, you edited it. Ten like, seconds. Yeah, cool, cool. <sighs> Got you. Stop um, doing that, bro. What? That. <laughs> I oh, oh, <laughs> what, what, why? I hate that, bro. Your nose, bro. Nah, you do this thing. Nose, like, you do this thing with your throat. Like, the scratching thing. Oh, like, yeah, fucking. You gotta blow that your too. nose. When, that, when that's your body telling you, blow your nose. They ain't shit in my nose. I'm gonna blow a blood vessel. Fuck that. Bro, you know what I'm saying? You blow a little too. You're like, shit, my poor nose, man. Fuck. Yo, yo, people. Welcome back to the Root Four One Show. My name's Ali. My name's Alim. And today we're joined by two of our homies. We got. Big A. And we got. Green bad man in it. Hey, bad all the way from the six. Bow. Yeah, <laughs> Toronto, bro. Bow. Toronto. Come on. How you doing, my bro? How's it been? How's your time been in London? Yo, my time has been great. Honestly, as I was saying earlier, but it's like London. I just love being here. I feel good inside. So, you know, it's good vibes. Linking up with you, man, and that. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. And excuse me if I dibble and dabble with some British words and way of talking. But yeah. No, but in Toronto, you guys have a bit of, well, I didn't know, you guys, your, your, your slang is not too different to ours, though, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's a lot of the Jamaican, like, influence to it, yeah, yeah, yeah. both ways, because, yeah, so it sounds pretty much alike. And if you're in the hood, it can feel very much like... Like yeah. home. Yeah, yeah, like you're an <laughs> or something, yeah. Um, just for the people that don't know who you are, just tell us a little quick background of yourself. Oh, shit. <laughs> where do I start? Doesn't have to be long, but yeah. like, just wherever you want. I, I'm, I'm green. I'm from Toronto, Canada. Um, I work in the music industry. I work for a music label, Arts and Craft. Shout out ANC. Um, I also manage artists, um, Lando, No Tourist. And um, I just like to get lit and have a good time, <laughs> you know? And just be happy and live a good life. Be a good person, but... Mm, word. That's mostly it. Now, I'm glad you mentioned music, and I know you're in the music industry, yeah, because we're going to start off with this one. Mm-hmm. It's a little would you rather, because I had a debate with a few people about this the other day. I feel like you're the perfect person to ask. Mm-hmm. A as well. Mm-hmm. You're a good person to ask about this. Would you rather go to see a concert of a GOAT artist, and it's going to be one of their most iconic performances, or... You get a one week lavish holiday, and that could be the best holiday you've had. And we're talking all expenses paid, so. Damn. Mm-hmm. So, would you rather see a GOAT artist or go on a one week all expenses paid for holiday? If I'm being honest, holiday for sure. Damn. <laughs> yeah. And that's someone working in music. And that's a man from the music industry. Yeah, because. Isn't it? Okay, so as much as I like music, I also like traveling. Mm-hmm. Holiday and from like being in the music industry for as long as I have been, it's like I don't want to go to like because if it's a goat, then it's gonna be like big show, stadium, yeah. big hall, all that, blah blah blah. So now, if your question was if I had like all access passed, yeah, yeah, show, let's put, throw that in there, bro. bro you got all <laughs> access as well. See, see, me and A were brainstorming this question. We're like, yo, how how sweet can we make this holiday and how sick can we make this concert? I'm talking. <laughs> At one point, we were this like, is the Yo. best concert and best holiday. So when I say best concert, that that means all access, all that. Yeah, goat tier as well. Like. Meet and greet too. Hey, Everything, hey, bro. Your imagination. It's the best. Wild, it will yeah. be the best show like, you've been to ever. You're chilling with the mans in the green room, smoking, and like you're part of the gang. Ah, you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're partying where they party, basically. Oh. Yeah, no, no random. He's like, ah, oh, so it makes it hard and. <laughs> <laughs> Show okay, the show for sure. The, the show. show for sure. What about you? Do you eh? have an artist? Wait, that... Go on. What about, what about you? I'm still thinking. To be honest, you know, thinking about all the possibilities because of the holiday. Bro. Because the holiday, 
The best holiday. All expense paid, bro. If there's a best holiday, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be an artist on that holiday that I'm gonna be seeing. Nah, but See, won't, I like but the way yeah, this yeah, man thinks. There could be a, I mean? bro. There's an artist everywhere you go, but it won't be that go artist, and it won't be this iconic. And as the, the artist holiday. might be there, but not fuck with you. You get me? Like, yeah. Or is he fucking with you on this holiday? To but like, he said the holiday is everything. My imagination. So I, I go to this holiday. Nah, 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 but wait for. Yeah, but that, that, that. But it's meant to be like two contrast, isn't it? Like, yeah, yeah. Like it's if a contrast. you had the option, it's one or the other. Yeah. You don't. You're not gonna get both. Then I'd be in. I'd be in at the concert, bro. Damn. That's what I yeah, said, and musicians. my debate was with Ali and another mate of ours, and I was saying how I'd rather go to the concert because one, bro, people die, bro. Because I'm like, we might never see this person. Imagine you could say, I was at Michael Jackson's last ever show. Damn. Do you know what I mean? You you never know. You never know. Whereas that holiday, whatever island it is, you can, the island's not going anywhere, not bro. Going anywhere. One day, One day when I make it, it may, it may not be now, but in about 10, 20 years time or whenever it comes, when I've got the bread, I can have that. That lavish holiday is too... Tangible. I can reach it one day, eventually. Maybe not now, but one day I could. The aim is to reach that, right? But the, but the artist, they could go, bro. You might never see that again. So, so, madam, now he's giving you all that context, yeah. I was Team Holiday. Oh, oh, I was surprised, the man. How is it Team Holiday? Because I just thought of like a advanced twist. So you go the if you choose the show, after the show you guys go holiday. That, that, yeah, and that's what I was trying to say. You can go, but, you can go holiday whenever. Well, okay, t- take a scenario. He's like, yo, like that artist, like God forbid, might like pass tomorrow, and you, you don't ever get that opportunity again to go see that artist that you think is a goat. What if you die tomorrow? You can't even go on another damn holiday. No, but then if you di- if you die, neither of them matter, bro. Yeah, yeah but but are we talking about the human's experience? Like either one, you're gonna experience it, right? Yeah. So which one would you rather Whoa. miss out on? I would not want to miss out on a vacation. None of it matters. Some I don't know some some safari or some elephants, and you're just like in a jungle climbing. Some, I don't know, bro. Think of some adventure, like. Damn. I'm you're like adventure. You're, you're saying, saying, you're saying you go with the story with more of like a legacy type, like. You meet people, more people will know you, that exactly, sort of thing. Bro, like, I don't still, know, still would be the artist. The show, bro, that's what damn, I'm saying. Damn, damn. Still chopping it up, still. Who, who, okay, and the follow-up question I had for you guys is, who's that goat-tier artist for you that would make you say no to the holiday? Go. <sighs> for me, I feel like I have already experienced that. Dead or alive? So, alive. And yeah. this might be very abstract, but it's absolute. So, Ooh. back in the day, uh, 2017... Mm-hmm. So um, <clears throat> One of my best friends He's not even in music or anything But He's this like White boy that Traps right But like he traps very corporately And he traps so corporately That whenever the man them Like schoolboy Or Joey Badass Was ever in the city They got from him Right So he's Very close with Absol's m- manager We're fans Of Absol And Absol is having this show Yeah So He's like Yo Hit him up, say, I'm gonna drop off some weed for them, but like they're like, roll to the show, chill, whatever. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I bet, bet, bet. We roll to the show, like, and like maybe like 30 minutes before, like, there's a lineup outside. We go through this back door, yada, 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 get up to the green room. We're all chilling there. Obviously, it's like Hennessy everywhere, fucking. We brought the fucking weed backwards <laughs> everywhere, but all that jazz, yeah. <laughs> And I'm just like sitting in the corner, just like, oh, life is fucking good. <laughs> yeah. Life is good. And then Absol walks in. And I'm like, kind of like shaking. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, this is mad. And um, we're chilling there, chilling there. I'm getting lit. We're smoking. And the thing with Absol is he only uh, smokes with white lighters. So if he's like about to smoke and you hand him any kind of lighter that's not a white lighter, he's not going to use it. Why? Just, Why? So I don't. Is it really, just his thing? Like, just... I don't, there's a story to it. Something about like, I think it has to do with his um, basically his fiance love of his life committed suicide. She jumped off a oh, my. building, mm. and that, that was like a huge part of like. Cause then he got into like this like depression. That's when he was doing like a load of just drugs, 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 and all that stuff. So it's like a huge part of his, his whole thing. And cause he smokes a lot. The white lighter kind of signifies like an angel or some type thing. Mm. I might be like paraphrasing, but that's kind of like the idea. The gist of it, yeah. So I'm there with, so it's me, my boy Will, and our other friend Sarah. She's kind of like a bad bitch type chick, <laughs> whatever. So we're all just like 
chilling, chilling, chilling. At some point, he's he's like he's about to go on, like in thirty minutes or something like that. And somehow she's talking to him. He's standing in front of the m- mirror, and she's like talking to him. So I'm like sitting on the couch over here, and like the drinks are over here. The mirror is here, and he's like about like getting dressed. So I'm walking behind them, and she just like pulls me and goes, "Yo, hey, I'm so this is my boy Green. He's a she just caps she's like he's a stylist, right? Damn. So I like, put you on the spot like that. <laughs> so and and I was like, oh shit. And then he looks at me and goes, "Yo, what's good, bro?" And taps me up, and he literally goes, "This is this." That's why I always choose a show. And he looks at me and goes, I guess because I was also like a nigga, like, how's my hair, right? And he has like this like long, <laughs> flowy hair, curly hair. And I was kind of laying pretty high. This is what I did. I was like, honestly, it looks good, but just give me a sec. There's like like some sort of like cream and shit. I just dab my hand in it. I just go like, my <laughs> my hand in and I'm like, Looks good. And then he does this. It got to bounce, though. It got to bounce. I'm like, it's bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it, it's bouncing. It's bouncing. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, 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 whatever. And then his stylist is just standing there looking at me like, who the fuck is this? <laughs> she has like his jacket. And she's like, who? Th-? And she's looking at me like, she didn't have to say any words. Her eyes were just like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And do you think at that moment she clocked as well? She's like, this nigga don't know shit. Yeah, oh, <laughs> definitely, man. Yeah. Hey, yo, 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 you know that you know what we call that here? We call that maneuver. Maneuver. <laughs> maneuver. Come on. <laughs> maneuver. Man, no, wait. Give me a sec. Hey, that's quick like, thinking so right there. And that, I was just like, you know what I'm saying? And like my hands in the absolute hair, so I'm like also like <laughs> losing it. But I'm trying to keep calm, like, ah, it's nothing. Like you, I do this you all You find day. a lock of his hair in your yeah. hand, you just pocket <laughs> that like you know what I'm saying? This for later. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and then he was like, "Yo, gotta bounce." And then she puts on his jacket, and I get a drink, and then I have a backward in my hand, and he goes, "Yo, let me smoke that." And I'm like, "Yeah, shit, fuck yeah, take it." <laughs> so then my smoke? I have like a blue lighter, and I like it's like, "Yo, light," and I give it to him. He's like, "Nah." He literally grabs it and fucking tosses it. And for a sec, I'm like, "What the fuck?" Did <laughs> You're I like, "Yo, wrong? you could have just given it back." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> threw my he fucking just fucking threw it. I was like, "Okay, fuck." And he's like, "I only smoke with white light." I was like, "Yeah, shit." I- I forgot that. So now <laughs> yo, we're looking for a white liar because yeah, yeah. no one is like so smart thinking. The beaks, I go in the corner and I rip off the fucking. It's one of those that were wrapped like the plastic ah, wrap. Like it's got like I, a yeah. So on. I fucking rip it off. I'm like, yeah, you're, you're here, and I'm like, this savior. I'm like, what is happening? And then yeah, man. So that was like, I feel like that was an experience I had. There's like a light beaming on you with the white like, lighter in the sky, like yo, yo, yo. yo. Everyone's looking at you. Nah, it's my fault. I saved the day, bro. So yo, it was and then he went on. I was backstage watching perform all my favorite songs, and awesome. honestly, it's one of the best memories of my life. Mad, bro. That's oh. that, that. No, that's amazing. That's hard oh. to top. I was gonna bounce out to my brother A and be like, yo, who's Damn. your artist? I would definitely say Young Dolph, bro. Young Dolph? Young oh, Dolph, he's dead, bro. isn't it? Yeah, man, for Fair sure, deal. bro. If I was really going to chop out for someone, it'd definitely be him, man. Mm-hmm. For sure, I got good. What, what's the inspo behind it? Like, why? Like, like, did you fuck with, like, how he came up in his career? Did you fuck it with his lifestyle? What is it about Young Dolph that you're like, yo, if I had that chance, you know I want to meet home? <clears throat> I'm going to be real, you know. Mm. Came across Young Dolph, say, about 2017. Like, my cousin used to listen to him. Cause he used to listen to him and he said, yo, like, yo, listen to this guy. I used to listen to that guy, but he never really done anything for me. He didn't really like, you know me with music, like didn't mm. really do anything to me with his music. But um, recently, yeah, say like last couple of months or something, he's been listening to something, something came by and I just put him on and I'm listening to him, but now I'm relating that like, everything he's saying I'm relating, like, I'm relating it on a mad level now. Like, this is like, this is a bit too much the way I'm relating. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm at the barber shop, that's what it is. I'm at the barbers <laughs> and they're, they're playing Young Dolph every day. Like, every time I go to a bar, they're playing Young Dolph, Key Glock. And I'm like, raw, like, yo, like, wh- whatever this guy's saying, it's making me, my blood's rushing. Like, <laughs> yo, I'm, I'm on it, you know, I'm coming from. So anyway. that's, what, that's what we say when we mean go artist, don't it? It doesn't have to be literally the greatest all the time. It's your goal. Bro, it's like, it's, it's, it's someone that moves you. you. Facts, facts, bro, facts. Say that again, it made bro. Me, I could like, 
run a mile, bro. Like, listening <laughs> to this guy, like, just boom, you know, coming from. But anyways, obviously, he sadly passed away or whatnot. So I was like, yo, I can't even get to see him. But I now understood the chemistry because when I saw Dumb and Dumber, when that came out, I was like, like how would how would they mock themselves calling themselves dumb and dumber? So relating to the film as well, I was like, yo, like these guys are supposed to be like rappers, artists, and they carry a certain image, but they name themselves dumb and dumber. Like kind of like at the time, like a couple years ago, I was like, yo, these men are whack, like you know what I'm saying? We we calling yourself dumb and dumber for, but <laughs> I didn't, they didn't understand at the time. They were sinking at the yeah, time, yeah. bro. That tape there is hard, banging it out every <laughs> day, like hard. So um, so yeah. At the barbers, that just made me think, yo. And now understood with that um collaboration, Dumb and Dumber, and now understood what Key Glock, the Key, Young Dolph was doing with Key Glock. Like he was kind of like mentoring, shadowing, and whatnot. And now if you see Key Glock, it's like, bro, we like Young Dolph is not with us, but we've got Key Glock, and mm. I see everything in Young Dolph in Key Glock. Do you know what I'm coming from? So, I was like, so when I went to go see him, when I literally went to go see him in San Diego in LA. Bro, one of the best moments of my life, bro. 100%. It's that passing of the torch, innit? Bro, literally mm. passed down the torch for sure, man. That whole label, that PRE, Paper Right Empire. Bro, <laughs> crazy, bro. Yeah. Crazy, man. Thank I God know. I went to go see them, man. And I'll see them again. In Europe, definitely. No, no they questions turn, They turn it up, bro, man. Americans, when they man perform, <laughs> <laughs> never seen no UK rappers ever do something like that. And I've been to a couple shows, but nothing competes to that. Mm. Nothing, bro, man. It was, I was like, well, we've got something to catch up on. When I go back to the UK, I was like, raw, say no more. There's standards here that when I go back to the UK, I need to see something like this, bro. Why do you think that is? <sighs> I'm not going to Wait, lie. hold on. Let me hear it from your perspective, though, because you're, 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 you're coming from another country. Like, Have you been to any shows here? Um, Not, not like a hip-hop show i've been to a lot of just like indie shows or drum and bass type shows the, the last time you were here weren't you meant to go see someone like an afro BRS or someone oh shit yeah i went to um bodge's show but and he brought he brought like a lot of people whiskey oh. um okay. what's, and uh who else is there a bunch. now i'm blanking but the biggest one was whiskey he came out last and everyone kind of like looked at shit oh my god because did, did you feel like the atmosphere was any different to to how it is like back home or in america Definitely, like, and this where it's like, um, for like indie shows, I think the crowd here it's it's better because people like actually the whiteies and that they they like they they really like keep quiet, not being rowdy, and it's just like some girl on a guitar or whatever. <laughs> but uh, again, I haven't been to like a rap show, but like when I was at the Bud show, Afrobeat show, it was, it was kind of chill, like. The, Energy wasn't like that high. Like it wasn't Is like it? it wasn't like a party in Toronto or in the States. Like I feel like just because of how the industry is to artists, like you have to always come correct. Like you can't even if you're performing in a room of four people, you you have to bring the energy mm. all the time. Like you have to. So I feel like especially for like things like hip hop, like someone like Key Glock, mm. Memphis, bro, you know he's fucking running mad on stage mm, yeah. and that's a crazy thing because you, you you guys here have a culture of like a thousand mans on stage like skeptical come on there's a million guys on stage and it's almost like that's where all the energy is mm. while enough america i feel like they put that energy into the crowd mm. uh. For sure, bro. That's bro, a good point, you know. Bro. I didn't even think about just, it like that. Okay, that, that's a great take. I actually like that because that's from the perspective of an artist because I've seen the counter argument when it comes to the UK audience versus the US audience. Mm. Like they say like when, may, maybe it could be the way they record the show and they then put it out on social media. But when you look at, for example, something like Wireless and Little Baby's there and like the artist can't even say a word because the whole audience is like saying bar for bar oh. the whole lyrics. But then in the US, you go there and well, certain shows that they show, they're like, it's you, you don't hear that much more from the audience, and that's why people are like, yo, the UK fans that like, they show love like on a different level. Mm. So uh, uh, that's kind of an interesting take because you guys are talking about like the artist side of mm. things and how like it's a one man show. They bring that energy and channel it into their mm. fans. But then the fans is kind of like a... Do you a, feel like when you reverse. go to a show, you have to know the lyrics? Yeah. It, it helps sh- make the show like 
at least the experience for me helps make it just like because yeah. if you're there, if you're lit and you just fucking ball for ball, yeah. bro, yeah, it's yeah, lit. Yeah. Yeah. It's lit. Yeah. Yeah. It's lit. Yeah. It's lit. Yeah. You feel like you're on stage too. Bro, it's, it's, it's like, it's like it's I might as well be on stage. So that's why my perspective lit. of the whole like UK thing, where it's like Century comes out, he brings a billion guys on stage. Yeah, and but it's like if if I'm at like a key Glock show, Absol show. Like the crowd is basically on like Bro, he's, he's, okay. he might as well just be standing in the middle with everyone fucking going off. <laughs> Vibe, it, oh my god, it was too hard, too hard, man. Like I was, I was saying his lyrics word for word on the corner, <laughs> and like I could just see like that like, key got because they're just looking at this one section of the corner. We're all just vibing. I I couldn't even care who was around me. I was just going ham, mm. ham. Like it was just especially when it's like the bar is like real. You're relating and you're saying it, and the guys there on stage and the vibe. What? It was incredible, bro. Incredible. Like when I came, when I when I compared it to the UK, I was like, yo, na- I told myself, name one rapper that has done something like this. None. None, bro. None, man. Damn. None, man. None. Not not like that, bro, man. Americans bring out stacks, stacks for funny, like for fun. <laughs> foom, foom. That goes a thousand dollars. That goes oh. a monthly wage. I'm looking at yeah, and I'm if like, if they're getting 50k for your show, they'll throw 10k in the crowd. Like it's like, nothing. Like people, I'm seeing something like paid in full when they throw money. I saw that the money's video. Money's coming it was down. Raining. Like, but people are looking up and I'm, and I'm like looking. I'm looking at the way they're looking at the money. I'm like, I remember. I think your foot was on one or something, and someone was trying to grab someone it. You're like, like, nah, bro, grab that, grab that, grab that, bro. <laughs> like you're just recording. Yo, grab it, bro, grab you, it. Do you know what I'm saying? There's, there's security just trying to. <laughs> yo, like, yo. Crazy, man. Do but, but literally, generally, I was like, yo, I, I really, really wanted to, like, name one UK rapper that had that energy and that. I couldn't, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. I feel like maybe more back in the day, but not in not not in a big crowd, more in an um, intimate setting. Oh, like I said, but I ain't been Like a, like a gram setting, but that was, like, back then. Foreign cash? Nah, not throwing cash, nah, not but it's not. It was it's just about it's throwing about cash. Like though, atmosphere and energy yeah. levels. Like, think about battle rappers and like sure, the rappers, yeah, yeah, like like, that, like yeah. old school days where they used. What they used to call? When you they, see the videos of that, like battle of the mics, battle of the mics. Is it? Nah, not battle of the mics. Um, Cla- um, clash, no. Nah. Uh, yeah, it was called clashes, isn't it? They used to clash like two artists would clash. Battle of is, although it. I guess I know, no, Lord, Lord of the Mics. Lord, Lord of the, the Mics. That's yeah, it. that's the those one. Those bears, though. Those bears, those yeah, bears yeah, yeah. as well. Yeah, because I'm thinking like... like those are, like, like, those are iconic smaller, moments. Like, smaller setting, but it's like, yo, the energy is going for in this clash. If you're there, you're going, ooh. Mm. It used to be dangerous, too. Those clashes, people used to get hurt for some of the stuff that come out. But, yo, can I ask you guys your own perspective? Why do you think... or what is the reason or why is there a culture of like in the UK like there must be a thousand mans in stage like what is that like, <laughs> the hip like like you know what I'm saying like it's like a thousand like it's always fucking gang on stage like what you know what's mad the fact that you had to point it out like it's such a norm like I, yeah, I actually really wouldn't have even realised that it's a for someone who looking at it from the outside in it's taboo it's like yo you, you got a lot of niggas on stage right now like but for us, it's just like, yeah, he just put the man them out. That's nah, the but way they see but it, yeah, the way I see it, I thought it's like it's like a way of giving back, in it. Like you still got your boys with you. Like you're the famous one, but you, your boys are still with you. Like that's your entourage, isn't it? True. And if you're gonna want to bring someone on stage, the man them that like, had it's your you closest people, you didn't have anything, or you weren't an artist that was charting, and now all of a sudden you're selling out an arena, it's like, bring the boys, man, bring energy. It's like when, you, when you're black. a big artist, it's like. You still haven't forgotten your roots, sort of thing. You're still with the, with the man, the minute. Question though, do they actually do stuff for them? For example, paper route. For example, Key Glock and them aren't coming with a thousand niggas, but you know, like their boys are like their managers. They have like the jobs, or yeah. they have ways of get like they're getting money too. So this man that like I'm like oh Central CS, you bringing all your mans on stage, but. Is that way ends or are you actually doing something for them outside the stage? Outside just rolling through to what's the name of the big festival in Wireless? the summer? Wireless and yeah. ah, we're all man. Ah. Hmm. It's like, all right, are those guys getting money or are they still going back to ends to, to like trap and be uh, yeah, 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 or whatever, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd say there's definitely a good mix because, I, I, okay, off the top of my head, I can't name them. 
But it's like, I do know for sure, like, they make sure that their peoples are close to them. Like, for example, if their boy is, like, for example, might have graduated in a bachelor's in, like, I don't know, management or something. It's like, yo, bro, like, I want to make, like, come with me to this meeting. Make sure so-and-so isn't, like, blowing smoke up my ass, like, giving me some bullshit because you don't understand the business terminology. There might be some of those guys. But the other guys, it's more of a, like, yo, I'm going to give my peoples a show, man. Like, fuck, fuck them being on the audience. They're going to be on stage with me. I f- but I feel like it is slowly becoming more like that though, because when you think about um, like fashion brands as well now, there's so many music artists and fashion people that all support each other. Like, Sensh will be wearing Cortez and stuff like that. Cortez will be pictured with with Sensh all the time. Like they're always sticking together. Like they they promote each other's stuff. Do you get it? But it's like don't be asking for a free hand. That if you're doing something, I'll support you. It's one of those ones. I'll okay. be real. Should take on it. Yeah, I'd say. <clears throat> From what I've seen, like in terms of like certain rappers and like certain, like, the, I wouldn't say no, but certain mutuals that I know inside, like nine times out of ten, the man that they have around them is probably doing something for them, cause they don't be rolling around with guys just you're you're not rolling with me just because you know what I'm saying. Cause we used to kick we're gonna, back we're gonna, in the yeah, day. Yeah, like. we're gonna be doing something on tour. Like yeah, we're gonna be lit. We're gonna be doing some this and that and that. But at the same time, we're gonna be working. We're gonna be doing something, and you're gonna have to be contributing to something. At the, at the end of the day, do you get where I'm coming from? Especially with like Central C. I know Central C's team, bro. That team there, they move brazy, bro. That team there moves solid. They move brazy, bro. Especially with, with that new drop they just done over the weekend. They've done it in the hood as well. Like, they've done it on, on their block. Do you get where I'm coming from? So I'm like, bro, they, they might got a team. As soon as you got one person that's doing something well and they can put their boys on, Bro, you got a solid team, especially if everyone's thinking the same. We all have the same target. We all have the same... Bro, that, that becomes a machine, bro. Like a serious, solid machine that moves like a team. Like, bam, bam. Like a real Madrid moving forward. You get where I'm coming from now. So it's like 100%. When, you, when you're seeing like sometimes a thousand guys on, on stage and whatnot, it's two things. Sometimes the artist is nervous and needs his brethren behind him just to be like, yo, we're about to get lit on stage and all. Yeah, let's go. True, one true. of the man that's on stage we're turning up with him because you know certain certain men they come from a like a paranoid background being on the roads and that. so when they go and they're seeing a festival full of like 10,000 people they're like yo I need to go with some energy I need my, my, like my boys to gas me a bit you know yeah, when you're in yeah, studio yeah, yeah. when you're sense. in studio sure, and then when you're bringing true. all of that to the stage bro you be like yo this is lit and I got the fans behind me as well you mm. get where I'm coming from mm. so it gets like that man it gets like that yeah do you see that with any of the artists you manage um, so one of the artists I manage or group, they're a group called No Taurus and they're like seven dudes. So generally like that, like part of their stage thing is to kind of like hype each other up and have like this whole like thing going right. But it's like they're a group. But like when Lando performs by himself, he just kind of like brings the energy by himself. I saw Lando, is he yeah. the one that performed at Roxanne last year? Like Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hard, he's hard. So that's that's your artist, yeah? yeah. Oh, okay, so, sick. Yeah, yeah, so, um, yeah, man. So it's just like, because I've always had, like, not a problem, but I've always, like, why is there a thousand dudes in state? Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's like, those guys, and then a lot of times it feels like that's where the party is. And it almost feels, ex- like, 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 not inclusive. Almost. Mm. Like you know, you watch it. I'm watching the party from the outside. Like, people like people just came to watch the party. Yeah, yeah. it's like, but I'm I feel, like I feel like other people know that as well. Because think about it, when when Kanye came to the UK. What did he ask? He called Skepta and he said, "Yo, I need a hundred goons on stage right now." They kind of know. You seen that? You seen that performance in it yeah, um, yeah. when he performed all day, and then he had um, like Skepta. It was the whole UK rap scene in the background. Is that the one where Jamie didn't? Pull Jamie up didn't pull up because he was hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's a true story. <laughs> Skepta called him. He was like, "Yo." Everyone, just wear full black. We're all going right now. Jamie's like, yeah, but, I'm, but I'm hungry though. <laughs> like, 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 yo, but do we have to go? <laughs> like, it was one of those like, ones. Like, the man them got you? Like, you got enough guys over there? And he actually didn't go. <laughs> like, you're like, yo, I'm going to go eat, bro. It is, bro. His stomach's talking. His stomach's That's how you talking. know J- Jamie's a real one, bro. He's never changed for no one. I'm going to change. All right, do you know who I'll be fucking with? And please don't. Oh, Tion Wayne. He's meeting. Bro, like, that healing song. And just like the vibes in the video. <laughs> The I green thing, like lie. the way he does his like thing, bro. Like, oh, what, what did like, he do? Like, just his music, his videos. Oh. His... You see the video? Nah. Yeah, you see you know why though? I feel still. like a lot of T.M. Wayne songs, a lot of them like recent ones anyway. They all sound the same to me, man. No, but still, like, it's the same show, same, same, same similar bars. 
You but somehow he's still pulling it off. That's yeah. what I like, almost like respect about him. Yeah, yeah. That while yeah. everyone's oh, sons and all that, but like he's still like pulling it off. Yeah, yeah okay. it's gonna it's gonna sound mad saying this as well, but Tio Main and Hedy, they they are I feel like they are kind of keeping the competitiveness quite high because every time Hedy drops, Hedy drops mad visuals, yeah. hard bars. I feel like every I feel, time to, and, personally, and, I feel like Hedy's and Hedy does numbers as well. Eddie does but you crazy cannot, numbers. But Tion does numbers oh, too Tion. as well. Because that's Tion. my work. Like, because I like we have like a universal backend and stuff like that. You can check like people's like streams and shit. Like, bro, Tion does especially when he drops. Oh my god, crazy numbers, spikes, spikes, yeah. spikes, spikes, spikes. Shh, my head. Fuck. And he, and he just done like a little tribute to like, um, so the Musala. So he has that Asian oh, yeah, market. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. With Nigeria. He used the sample, in it? Nigeria just, market. Yeah. Bro, that's like... Smart, yeah. And you yeah. got the UK market, Europe. Bro, yo. Canada. Because yeah. the His PR is really... To be fair, everyone's so, PR is getting smart as well. Because mm. even with Way Eddie, you smarter, like... Bro. When he did Martin Sofa and they all that... He longed that out, but he they He longed smart. out promoting they're it, but smart. that's the way you got to do it now. They were very, very smart. It's hard, though. I want to I pick your brain, man. Like, yeah. s- s- since you got some inside information on the music game, yeah. how, how, how does the, like, streaming, like, of, like, artists or, like, you guys being able to see their certain numbers, for example, how much does, like, for example, Spotify or Apple Music playlist help with that? For example, a song like Tion Wayne's that's popping right now is going to be in, like, Rap UK, Rap Caviar, or, like... He's the cover of Rap UK right yeah, now. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, they make, them, they make that artist that's got that banger, like, the cover of the art. How much does that help in pushing that song and that artist oh, out there? Oh, like it helps a hundred percent. Like, cause the thing I said with DSPs and um, unfortunately the game is every like Spotify is like the holy grail. Even if like Apple Music and Amazon Music are trying to like, because no one gives a fuck about title. I don't even think it's still a thing. I don't know if that's the title. Yeah, days. but <laughs> Amazon <laughs> and um. Apple <coughs> Music are trying to compete, but the holy girl is Spotify, right? And the thing is, that's the game. 10,000 10, songs get uploaded, like, I think it's every, like, 12 hours or something like that. So, imagine... 10,000. 10,000 songs. Every 12 hours. From all around. I'm saying from anywhere. Like, kids are just... I'm saying even just people randomly uploading whatever yeah. beats instrumentals like there's this this is random but there's this like a guy i listen to at work he's called sunglass kid and all he does he makes like soundtracks for like 80s movies like that's his whole thing that's hard. right that's hard, it's yeah. actually pretty hard so it's like so much shit gets dropped every day and the real filters are the playlist because the thing is like your average listener that okay let me start from here so an average listener isn't like opening spotify and be like yo i'm listening to i don't know asake or davido or key glock they're most likely playing it on a just like go rap playlist or indie playlist on spotify like that's now like a fact like all the numbers support the fact that like most listeners or most average listeners just listen to playlists because people don't want to have to like think think yeah exactly yeah. so automatically if i'm about i'm like yo i'm trying to l- listen to something hype like hip-hop what am i doing i'm going hip-hop playlist shows in the uk for example it will be rap uk new M- music friday uk blah 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 yeah i'm gonna see oh shit rap i'm gonna tr- open it i'm gonna see Tion Wayne, K Camp, fucking Dave, I'm like, I bet. That's, Put that's my artist. Yeah. Shuffle or whatever, or not even shuffle and just play through. Maybe I'm at the gym or I'm just at work or I work at, in like a shop and I'm just playing music off the thing. Mm-hmm. So, playlists, because that's where most people, most Spotify users go to use mm. music or go to listen to music. So, so it pushes them it crazy. It pushes everyone crazy. That's why I tilt. Tomorrow, no matter how big someone is, like you got to be on the playlist. Because mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be honest, there's days like that. Yeah, you are right. Like there's days like that. You're just like, oh, this is what I'm in the mood for. You ain't specific on an artist, but you're like, 
I just want some UK, like some hard music. You know what? Yo, slap that shout out Arafat's playlist, though. Arafat's playlist. Plug at the spot is out. There's definitely going to be something in there. There's definitely going to be something in there you'll love, man. For sure. So, like, Spotify has really stepped up the game. Even with, like, the song radio. That's basically, like, its own kind of playlist. Yeah, yeah. But that's all I use. And I, love I don't that. make it's, playlists. It's, it's, it's I like, just use Spotify radio. Yeah, it's yeah. like, exactly. oh, you listen to this. So we think these artists fit that. And more time is right. Like, the and order, right. everything. Yeah. everything like, exactly. Uh, but, like, what does that help? Because in your head, you're like, you put on, like, a Tion song. You want to listen to rap. Similar, then it's going yeah. to play um, Heady and play this next and this next. But it's, in a way, it's own playlist still. It's smart. It's like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I keep telling people, like, yo, bro, Sp- Spotify's got the best algorithm. Like, if you're on Apple Music, bro, just leave it, man. Mm. Yeah, Spotify's got the best algorithm. Spotify now, like, if I need to, get, like, go see anyone, if I'm listening to anyone, I just go on Spotify and I can, like, I don't know if you guys know about this, but I can find out when they're playing next, like, yeah, live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go on the Oh, yeah, Spotify, yeah, yeah. I can buy you can tickets. do that now. You can book tickets can on book Spotify. Tic- yeah. You don't have that. Bro, you can buy so merch. Bro, even yeah, yeah, merch, yeah. bro. That's you know what I'm saying, bro? Mm-hmm. Straight from, like, from they've, Spotify, they've bro. fucking stepped it up. Like, yeah, man. No one is ever going to catch up to nah, them. Man, they've, yeah. They're fucking, yeah. like, Spotify <laughs> is the whole Miles program. ahead. It's like the industry standard. Yeah. So Especially, that, you know, the wrap up of the year is. I feel like a lot of people just jump on for the wrap up of the year, like end of the year. And I, you do like seeing that, though, it? every year, like it knows your music, bro. As, I think my Spotify knows me better than most people I know, bro. Like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, mean, I mean, shit, bro. This is machine. your. It, it shows it's me like, all no, these he... colors. This is your personality. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. this type of person, and it's like it'll show you from the music you listen to. It knows what type of person you are, bro. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah. too much. What people um, don't <laughs> understand is Spotify. It's is not a music company. They're a tech company. That's hard. That's, that, that. that's exactly Spotify what I'm trying to bring company. up. It's, so, not so, so, a, it's not a music company. So, so you know when you're describing like shit, they know the colors or they know that because of all these music genres I listen to, I am this sort of person. Mm. Bro, where do you think they get that information from? User data. There's people out there and data don't lie, bro. It's like, oh, we've got this many people listening to this. This is the bucket they fall under. That's their wrap up sorted. Boom. Next bucket, this guy likes this, like very hard or EDM or this or that. He's in that very small niche people, but there's a people of them. And data don't lie, bro. It's like the fact that they've got these wrap ups of the year, your, the, the, the color profile describing your personality. What music app is telling people's personalities? <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> and when you accept terms and conditions, these are all the things you're accepting. You download mm-hmm. the app and you're like, yo, yeah, I just want set music. Up an account, like, so they have all this information. That's like, hard, um, all right, cool. Obviously, this all started off from the Would You Rather. One part was music, but the other part was a holiday. I wanted to ask, because we, we ask a lot of people this, and it's because it's a very interesting question. What's the best place you've ever been to? Or what's your best memory in, a, in another country even? There's many. I think <laughs> about that one. Um, Do you travel a lot? I travel quite a bit. Um, I did a lot as a kid, just like with my family, but I can't really count any of my kids' experiences because I, I don't know what the fuck was going on. But <laughs> you like, I didn't experience it properly, man. If I'm being... Oh, shit. Oh, man. It's not like a crazy place. I think my best experience was in Florida. Florida? Yeah. That's not even too far from you. Yeah. <laughs> Florida. Like, I've been to... Um, Shit, I've been to Malaysia, been to um, fucking Kenya, South Africa, oh, Ghana, like most of West Africa. Um, but Florida, because I, like I did like something crazy, not crazy, but kind of like uh, not out of pocket. But OK, <laughs> the experience is um, we went to Florida for like holiday my boy i was telling you that traps corporately <laughs> yeah his dad hey, you're, owns, you're like, talking too much bro. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna go back to toronto and cuff bro like, <laughs> yeah, <fuck it. laughs> get some of that brain <laughs> boom <laughs> everyone worried his name's corporate steve but um we were in fort myers florida and um his dad has a House there. That's the first house I ever seen with like an elevator. And I say he traps corporately because 
if you saw him walk down the street, you think he's just some skater dude, regular ass dude. But this guy was moving. <laughs> Fuck. Wait. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, and, and he's moving smart though. And it's super weird because it's all like his family is rich. So, right. So, um, his dad has this huge house in Fort Myers, Florida. It's like, um, only first house and only house I've seen with an elevator in it. <laughs> I was like, what the, what the fuck yeah, is this? No, it's that, yeah, you, know that film, you know that film when you watch as a kid, right? Richie Rich? Oh, yeah. Go, there's a McDonald's in his yard. There's, <laughs> like, a, <laughs> there's a zoo in the back, roller coasters. Fuck it. It was just like mad. But then we went to Disneyland and Universal in Orlando. So oh. I drive a lot. Like, I love to drive. So I drove from Toronto to Florida. They flew, but I was like, yo, I, I finna drive. <laughs> so I drove. And then we use my car to go to Orlando. So at that time, we needed fucking weed, bro. <laughs> and his connect was in Pittsburgh. And like, he got like some shit happened. So we couldn't really go out there, blah, blah, blah. So like, you were going to find like weed in Orlando. And the thing is, he had this girl at, at that time. She was kind of like an addict, quote unquote. Like she was always like, she always needed to smoke or whatever like the rest of us like would smoke if it was there but we wouldn't like be like sweating or get in like a bad mood if we haven't smoked in like if she has been like in a day she's like in a bad mood fussy whatever <laughs> so we go universal orlando all day we're having fun yada 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 and then at night we're like shit like she's getting all fussy we're like we need to find weed so we're driving and she's getting all like fussy at, at the back so and like i snap i'm like yo just shut up like just <laughs> word relax you know what i'm saying and you know what like let's go find this fucking we whatever okay so we drive we're just driving around and i'm i'm driving i'm thinking i'm like in uni if i was walking down the street and someone tapped me like yo where can i get some fucking weed right i'll, I'll be like like i'll be like mm. If if they pass the eye test of not being a fucking cop or fed, uh, I'll be like, all right, my nigga, like, hit this guy up or go here and do this, whatever. So-and-so send you. That's so it. that was my idea. So I was like, fuck it. We're going to open Google Maps. I'm like, um, university. The closest so university. So University of ah. Central Florida. So we drive. It's like, bro, it's like 9 p.m., right? <laughs> we drive into the school. And <laughs> in the uni, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so as we walk in, there's a like a light. So we get to the light, like we pass. Like they have like this whole like gate thing. We get in. It's like a huge, like it's a huge campus. Like they have traffic. Like they have traffic in the campus. Like it's huge. Damn. And then so we're at this light, right? And there's this chick in, in the next car. So I tap my boy because it's me, my boy from Zimbabwe, G, Will, Corporate Will, and. The girl who was saying at the time, Lauren, right? <laughs> so we're fucking just like, ah, oh, shit. So I tell my mom, like, yo, ask her. And he's like, what the fuck? So I wind his window down. I'm like, yo. He forces yeah, yeah. I'm, like, I'm like, yo, <laughs> where can we get some weed, bro? We're from Canada. We're just trying to smoke. And she's like, ah, oh, shit. She seemed like smoke. She's like, yo, go down to some, like, she told, like, go down to some court, some court area. If there's man them hanging around, they ask them someone who, like, you know what I'm saying? That's the spot. Yeah. So we go, but I guess maybe because it's a Friday night or s something like that. There was no one there. So we chilled there for like 10 minutes. Wasn't really popping. I'm like, I fucked this way up. So we go back. So you get to like the main part of the uni and the road goes. So here is to like the school campus class. Here is to fraternity and the houses. So they have yeah. like a, what do you call it? The female one. Uh, it's called a, the male one's called a fraternity. Trinity sorority and, sorority it? yes there you go. so it's just like the movies bro it's like <laughs> houses with all these signs mega phil data mega whatever <laughs> Kappa, delta. Kappa, delta, whatever the what, fuck what does that all mean they're all greek letters so like usually a frat house or a sorority house will name themselves after a few greek letters and be like where the alpha b the gamma house yeah, yeah, yeah and they have exactly. those like crazy so, parties so they, have, so, yeah, they have these parties and like theater like, it's just it's basically basically yeah. like res but they make it too intense yeah, right yeah. so i we drive to the first one bro, and i f know that florida is open carry and like someone can like if you're on their like you could get like if you're on someone's property you could get shot yeah okay well, what do they call that law that protects them the uh, 
Americans are King of the Castle or some, yeah. some shit. Basically, if you are on their property, they're like to shoot you. Bitch, get off. They don't even have to warn, <laughs> you, bro. warn you, bro. They don't have to uh, warn you. That's the scary part. It's not like, yo, you got to warn them to leave. They don't leave, then you shoot. Nice. Yeah. You're on my land, boy. <laughs> yeah, it's just straight up. So I go and I don't know the signs, right? So I go to the first one. I knock. Pa, 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 pa. Bro, it's crazy. This girl opens in lingerie, right? So not lingerie, a nightgown. like a, But it's like silk, whatever. <laughs> same, like, same, I'm, but like, different. So it's a, it's a white girl. I'm standing there as a black man. I was like, fuck, it's 9 p.m. I'm knocking the door. is off. Uh, she was nice. calm. She was like, Yo, hey, what's good? I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. I gave her my live stream from Canada. She's like, yo, we don't have any drugs here, but the frat house is probably on. She was like, I, I was like, which one is it? Because I don't know the sign. She's like, that one, that one, that one. I was like, I bet. Thank you. Have a good night. Left. She drove to the first one. I'm a crazy person, right? I'm knocking on the front door. <laughs> knocking, knocking. You don't even know protocol pass. Bro, the nothing. I'm like, yo, like... shit. But I'm knocking, and from the room above the door, it's like some Wiz Khalifa song. I don't remember which it was, but I was like, first good sign. Yeah, first good sign. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> they never but, smoking in there, bro. <laughs> wait for it. So I'm knocking, I'm knocking. No one responds, right? I'm like, fuck it. I go round the back to the yeah, side door. You're moving mad. Yeah, yeah. that's crazy. No, it? Uh, I was proper moving mad. I don't know what mad. was moving. So I'm knocking on the side door. Finally, some dude comes. I'm like, yo, hey, man. I give him my whole story. But blah, blah, blah. he looks at me he's like, yo, I'll be back. He's gone for like five minutes. Comes back with two other dudes. And they're like, there's no drugs in this premises. <laughs> They think you're fed. Yeah, and I'm like, think- I'm not a f- like, I'm not a fed. I know the laws. Like, trust me. If I'm a fed, I have to say I'm a fed before I can even enter. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm not a fed. Like, I ain't trying to trap you. Blah yet. blah. They're like, nah, bro. There's no drugs on this premises. I'm sorry, blah blah blah. So now I'm leaving. So we get in the car. We're driving. Like a whole bunch of them come out, and they're all like throwing middle fingers up and they're like, fuck out of here, whatever. Oh my. I was like, ah, fuck. So we go to the next one. Uh, wait, may I ask, was this a white frat house? Yeah. yeah it was like, was, they're all white frat houses. Yeah. Like, you know, so I go a to the- A bunch of chads with their hair all fucked literally. up. Like, get out of here, dude. <laughs> Yo, get out of here, man. <laughs> so we did. <laughs> <laughs> what are, we get the fuck out of here, man. Dude. <laughs> there's no drugs here, dude. <laughs> so we go-, <laughs> <laughs> we go to the next <laughs> one. <laughs> Same shit. I'm knocking on the front door. Nothing, so I try it, it's open. <laughs> <laughs> so I open the door. Yeah, yeah, so you're dealing. forgetting you're in an open carry state. He's, he's doing this open the girl that's sitting in the back. Yeah, you know? exactly. He's like, I just need this bitch hey, to shut the hey, fuck hey, up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, up. But also, Loki, for, there was an element of also me want, like, we had, like, because we, at that point, we've been in Florida for like four days yeah. and we hadn't smoked. So um, <laughs> I need this shit too. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, I'm I need this shit. So I open the door and it's like, as I said, it's like rest, but they make it like super intense. So right in front is like a assembly hall, and then on the walls they have like the years, like yeah, class of two thousand and one, and class of the, all the like all the frat members that were in the, whatever. So then, but, it really is a cult, bro. Bro, once you open the door, it's a long, it's a hallway, and then there's a room. So and there's a sign. So this sign said, mess hall, gym rooms okay so i walk down to the room thing there's only one room on that floor i knock on the door i'm knocking someone just yells yo come in (laughs) 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 so i walk in this guy is deep into mario kart he's smoking a joint he's fucking deep into like mario not mario kart the one where they fight and shit uh smash bros smash Smash bros Bros. yeah yeah yeah. (laughs) yo it's like this white kid his has like glasses on. He's fucking going at it. I'm like, yo, I'm giving him my whole story. I'm like, yo, just want to get some weed. Like, it's been hard. Just please, like, I'm not a fed. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's all good, man. Just go up to like room three something and ask for X. I forget the names, but like, ask for this guy. I was like, I bet, say less. So now I woke up to this room. I knocked the door and then it was one of this, like, the suit. So let's say it was like four rooms, whatever. But it's Bear Man's there. They're getting ready to go out. They're like, Rolling up, getting ready, getting dressed, whatever. So I knock, I go in, I give them my whole story. They're like, I bet, calm. The man them that traps just went to the store to get like supplies and stuff. He'll be back soon. And they're like, actually, you're from Canada. One of our boys is from Canada too. So they take me to the back. They have like a back patio. They're all like, there are more guys there smoking, playing beer pong, just getting ready to leave, whatever. So I link up with the guy. We're like, oh shit, he's from Ottawa. I'm from Ottawa. We're like, oh, I'll bet. It's like, yeah, the man won't be back soon. 
So he finally gets back and he comes in and they talk to him, blah, blah, blah. Then he comes to me, walks me to like this side door and just goes, yo, we don't have any drugs here. And I was like, dog, like, come on, bro. Like, come, like I'm like, I'm not a fed. I'm not a cop. Like, like just look at my ID from Canada, blah, blah. So I was like, yo, fuck this. I go back to the car and I guess Will was just as frustrated as everyone else. So I'm like, yo, bro, they're saying the same thing. He's like, nah, fuck that. Let's go back. So we go back and we're trying to talk to this guy. They're like, bro, there's no... And Will goes, yo, I have Xanax on me. And that like, eyes must have lit the fuck it's up. It's fucking lit. It's like, have Xanax on me. How can I be a cop and have Xanax on me? Because if I have the Xanax and I give it to you, it's entrapment. And I can't, like, even if I'm a cop and I'm not saying it, if I give the Xanax to you, it's entrapment and I can't arrest you. Like, I'm not a cop here. So they grab the bag. The one guy looks at it and he looks at the next boy. They light their eyes. They was like, shit, just get that. <laughs> so I was like, I bet. And um, he's like, cool, 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 cool. They're like, all right, y'all are cool. So they take us in. The guy pulls out this bag. They trap it to us. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. It was proper lit. It was some strong shit. Because then we drive back to Disney. Because Disney has this thing called like Disney After Dark. So it's like for oh, yeah, yeah. adults where you can, like some bars are open. You can just chill there, walk around and stuff. That sounds good. So we go into the parking lot. My boy G was taking like a break, right? So we're like, yo, we didn't grab much. We're going to like make the best of it. So we're like, yo, we rolled this like uh, um, s- like blunt and we're like, we're going to hotbox. Ah. So it's me, Will, and the chick. We're hotboxing, hotboxing. Will was like, ah, yo, I'm out. It's too much. Like, we're fucking out. He's out. So me and the chick were kind of like, like, we're the fucking goons. Like, we're going to fucking kill the shit. <laughs> so we fucking smoke everything. Boom, we're about to leave. I pull out of the fucking parking space and I'm like, can't do it. I can't was like, drive. Because I'm like, I'm driving two hours back to Fort Myers. I'm fucking high. <laughs> and luckily for us, our boy was taking a break. So he had to drive. <sighs> we wake up the next day and he's like, yo, literally two minutes into the drive, all of you just fucking passed out. Imagine you behind the wheel. <laughs> you, know, oh. you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, bro, but that was just fucking great. But yeah, so that was like probably the craziest experience I've ever had. <laughs> That's yeah, a good yeah, story, yeah. man. That's a funny one. I saw the whole, I saw the whole thing in my head, like picture for picture for picture for picture. That's an episode out of Atlanta, bro. Yeah, That's an episode yeah, out of Atlanta. Atlanta. That's what I was thinking, That's bro. Hard. You said that story well, bro. <laughs> it was a um, um, shit. Yeah. Yes, bro, I must say you are an amazing storyteller. We're thank very you, fucking happy to have you on our thank show you, today. Thank you. I'm happy to be here, obviously. Yeah. Four one boys, bro. Come on, bro. Need to have you on again next time you're around. We got the. Homies from the six in here. <laughs> the homies you see every other episode, but that's our that's a recurring guest. That's what we call hey. <laughs> from the blocker, man. Yeah. <laughs> Plug in the spot, blocker, bro. Come on. So if you guys like that episode and you want to get tapped into what we're doing and what other guests we're gonna have, tap in below. You see that big subscribe button, hit that shit, like it. All our socials down there. Thank you very much. Peace.